Hi guys, so today's video is primarily a book haul and specifically a book outlet book haul, but I also wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the Pierce Brown release party Howler Fest that I went to this last weekend, so I'll chat about that a little bit at the end. Starting with the book outlet book haul, I had got such a good deal. Book outlet had a deal where you could spend, I think it was around $55 and then get $20 off or something like that. And then in America, if you spend $35, you get free shipping. So I got $50 worth of books for $35 and there was no additional tax and I got like eight hardcover books. Now I will admit I've been trying to be much better about buying sequels to books if I haven't actually read the first one, but I pretty much broke that rule for all of these because it was just, it was such a good deal that I was like, mm, I might as well just get them because when am I gonna get them this cheap? The first one that I got that I was really surprised that they even had on their website was Down Among the Six and Bones by Seanan McGuire. The other book that this goes with is Every Hearted Doorway, which is about children and people that come back from fantastical worlds and they don't know how to cope. And this one follows, it's almost I believe like a prequel, it follows the world that some of the characters went to. I know a lot of people have been really loving the Every Hearted Doorway book and I know this one is not I don't think it's as loved as that one, but they sound really good and really interesting and so many people rave about them. And it's, this is such a short book and in comparison to some of the other books I read, it's such a relief. Next up, I got the book A Shadow of Bright and Burning by Jessica Kluis. And I don't know a ton about this book, but the premise sounds pretty interesting. It follows a girl who is supposed to be almost like a chosen one but she's not actually the chosen one. At the top too, there's a quote that says, vivid characters, terrifying monsters, and world building as deep and dark as the ocean. And that quote is from the author of the Red Queen series, Victoria Aveyard. And I, I don't know, that alone intrigues me. Next up, I got both the books, The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Addy. These books are a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. And I know that some people absolutely love them and some people hate them. But I have a friend of mine who really enjoyed them, so I figured they're super cheap. I might as well get them. Next up, I got the book The Battle Mage by Taryn Matharu, which is a perfect example of me buying a book that I haven't read the first ones of because I've not even read the first book and I now own one, two, and three. I've not heard a ton of people talk about this series, but I see it at the bookstore all the time and I'm always really intrigued by it. And I actually like the fact that there is a male protagonist because I feel like in a lot of young adult books, generally speaking, the main character is girl. So I like the idea that for once in YA, the main character is a boy. Switching now to another series that I own the first three of and haven't even read any of them, um, I got the sequels to The Bone Season and these would be The Mime Order and The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. I've heard really good things about this series. I know it sounds a lot like it combines fantasy and science fiction elements. It takes place in the future, the year 2059, and it follows a girl who is working for this criminal underworld organization by getting information by tapping into people's minds. And lastly, I got the sequel to A Star-Touched Queen, which I also haven't read, and that would be A Crown of Wishes by Roshani Chokshi. I've heard a lot that these books follow folk and fairy tale lore and that the main character goes on this journey, and I just think that sounds like a really interesting, fun read. I'm excited that I have both the first and the second one now, especially because I've not heard a ton of people talk about this book. And I've told you guys before, I like when books aren't already super hyped for me because then I can go in without any preconceived notions of what my expectations should be. Anyway, that's it for the book outlet book haul portion of the video. I do want to chat with you guys now a little bit about Howler Fest and getting to meet Pierce Brown at the event. We did get our copies of Iron Gold and it's gorgeous. I love the fact that the first trilogy in the Red Rising series has the black covers and this new trilogy is going to have these white covers. They also were nice enough to give us a different edition of Red Rising, which is the first book in the series, so I thought it was really cool that they gave us this too, but I didn't vlog at the event. I know that I'm sure you guys would have enjoyed getting to see what the event was like and everything, but I wanted to really enjoy the event and not just be on my phone the whole time trying to record everything. But I had so much fun. I hung out with Leanna over at Leanna's library and for just a little bit I saw Becca and Mike from Books and Looks and they were all decked out in their costumes and everything which was really cool. 
If you guys do want to see a vlog of the event, I know that Books and Looks did a vlog, so I'll have that linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Pierce Brown is also super nice. It was so cool getting to hear him talk about his book, and a lot of us got to like shake his hand and take our pictures with him and everything. He's very friendly, very nice, and depressingly young. It's one of those things where it's like, ugh, I don't know if I should be inspired by the fact that you've accomplished so much at as young of an age as you are, or if I should be depressed. One thing I did get to record though was these people that came in with the most amazing costumes. This guy was in a costume of the pulse armor and it was so cool and they had him like come up on stage the theater and so that way everybody could see their armor and stuff. It was awesome. So I'll put that up for you guys so you can see it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like nerding out. I'm like, <laughs> Y'all are cool, but God. <laughs> and this is part of what makes him so awesome. Oh. He is a questions about the event or anything Pierce Brown said at the event or anything like that let me know that in the comments section down below and let me know as far as the book haul if you guys have read any of the books and your thoughts on them if you liked the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos and check out some more of my videos right over here thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later bye <laughs>